Hi and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today we'll talk about the distinction between a serious adverse event and a severe adverse event. More after the break. In order to be able to distinguish events better, everyone in clinical research should be able to use and distinguish the right terms. So here comes some information to assist with the distinction between a serious adverse event and a severe adverse event, which causes problems quite frequently during case report form completion. First, these terms are not synonymous. Serious is based on a patient slash event outcome or action criteria usually associated with events that pose a threat to a patient's life or functioning and which fall within the definition of serious adverse events, depending on good clinical practice and sponsor SOP. The term severe reflects the intensity of a specific event. The intensity is usually classified as mild, moderate, and severe. The event itself, however, may be of relatively minor significance, such as a severe headache. Since even the most intense headache is not considered an event, which is life-threatening or leads to hospitalization or death, this should only be reported as an adverse event with the degree of severity, severe, but not as a serious adverse event, which has to be reported within 24 hours. A heart attack, however, would automatically be a serious adverse event due to the associated hospitalization, even if it is a moderate heart attack. A moderate heart attack like this would be classified as a moderate serious adverse event, which has to be reported to the sponsor within 24 hours. In the field of oncology, a scale divided into five grades of so-called CTC classifications has been developed for the finer subdivisions of the severity of adverse events, whereby the fifth grade is the highest. An event of the fifth grade results in death. An event of fourth grade is life-threatening, which is why events of these two grades would automatically be classified as SAE. In contrast, events of grades one, two, and three are not necessarily serious adverse events. For the CTC classification, a comprehensive table has been developed, which is used to define laboratory values, symptoms, actions against the event, tolerated doses of study treatment, and much more. The purpose of this classification system is to enable a very varied description of events in oncology research. Vomiting in connection with the study treatment, for example, would be classified as higher than vomiting without medicinal therapy. For CTC classification, only the patient's current and objectifiable condition is decisive, not the previous course or average severity in a defined follow-up period. Complete traceability and documentation is decisive for CTC classification as well. All details on adverse events have to be initialed with date and signature by the investigator. So much about the distinction between a serious adverse event and a severe adverse event. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.